Okay, good afternoon class. Hopefully everyone is enjoying spring break in both my 559 network security class for grad students as well as 281 for undergrads. So right now I'm actually, we'll be going through how you can actually install VirtualBox, I'm sorry, once you install VirtualBox, how you go about installing an exam or Apache on your machine. So for this, actually I picked BioLens, I have nothing on that machine, so I'll start that up. And actually, I kind of messed up, so. Let me exit out of here real quick, power off this machine. And now I'll go to settings. A lot of people had questions about actually booting this thing up. So what you do is you go to system. And make sure you have the boot order set up so that the hard disk goes before the CD-ROM drive. And make sure hard disk is checked beforehand. And this is because under storage, it's still going to see your ISO image as the actual, <clears throat> sorry, the ISO file that you use to actually install Linux as your CD-ROM drive. And so of course it's going to continue to try to boot into that CD-ROM over and over and over again. So to make it stop booting into your ISO file, you have to go to systems and then switch the order so that hard disk goes before CD-ROM drive. Okay, so after that, you of course you hit OK. And then from there, then you will start up Linux. And it's giving me audio errors because, of course, I'm actually running this VM at the same time that I'm actually doing this recording at the same time. So if it's boot up. At this point, I will type in my username. So I'll type about my password because your name is already in there by default. Log in. And of course, you can use any variant of Linux just as long as it actually boots into it, as long as you have it installed properly. So at this point, I then go to Firefox or whatever web browser you have on your machine. So you can use Firefox, whatever. So of course, you go to Applications, Internet, choose Firefox because it's on most machines. Then do a Google search for example. Of course, you choose the Linux version. Go to the download page. And of course, right here, they give you the instructions for it. So, right now, I will download this. So, I say OK to save it. Go back one page. I'm going to scroll down to the instructions. And that's I'll pause this video while this is actually working. Or actually while it's downloaded, it's pause. Okay, download is finally done. So, of course, I can right click on it. Go to open containing folder. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, I left it open to the actual that web page open to the actual instructions so it's easy for myself. So actually I go to applications, accessories, and it's just terminal. So wherever your terminal is, you open up your terminal. So now you figure out wherever you have that downloaded to. So here I type in CD space. Then of course download because that's where it is. 
type in DR image I'm in the right directory I am so right now I can actually close this and actually since this is Ubuntu type in sudo and then uh, information right below there so it'll be sudo and then this line so it'll be sudo tar x v f z and if you're in Suzy or Fedora, you type in SU to switch over to system, sorry, system administrator root. Your username, sorry, your password for a administrator, and then type in the tar command. So now, since this is Ubuntu, you pause in one line to so a sudo space tar xvfz zap Linux 1.2.7, sorry, 1. 0.74 and of course make sure you copy it to this part of the C drive or the OPT folder so now I hit enter type in my password and now I'll install everything into that directory And as you can see, Xamp makes it very, very easy to get a patch up and running. So now I actually make sure I saw it correctly. So I do a CD slash get out of there. A CD slash OPT. So now CD slash get to my main part of the desktop. So now I make sure everything is running. I type in space OPT slash L-A-M-P-P slash L-A-M-P-P and then start. If you aren't, is it that easy to get a patch up and running? Let's see. Yes, it is. So at this point, I just hit enter. And of course, you have to be root first. Of course, if you're in Fedora or Susan as mentioned earlier, you type in the sudo, sorry, the S-U command, then your password, but since this is Ubuntu, you type in sudo space then OPT then the lamp then of course start and for this still skeptical of being that easy to install and run Apache on a local sorry on a Linux machine like this now you type in localhost see if everything's installed right in your browser And voila, it's up and running, but of course, no software installs yet. And it's probably pinging on something else. So no software installing here, but yeah. There you guys go. That's how you install a boom. Sorry, get patch installed and run on your machine real quickly and simply. Any questions, guys, as usual, let me know. And that's it.